Well, good morning, Quirky Birders. It's Lynn here and your long awaited video of your Highland Coo. Um, I've just had a little practice because it's been a little while since I've actually painted um, this little chap. Um, but um, yeah, it's uh, it's very simple and it's very easy to do. So we'll um, jump straight in and paint your little Highland Coo. Now it's quite a fun design to do um, and you can just limit your um, your paint palette to the sort of the browns and the yellows and, and that type of colour. So you can do something um, a little bit like this one. Alternatively what you can do is you can actually do something a little bit more vibrant and you can do something like this. So I've used some pinks and blues and greens and yellows, but you can really have some fun um, with this design um, and come up with, with your own um, interpretation of it. So I've got a piece of A4 paper taped to my board. Let me just move that frame out of the way. So I've got a piece of A4 paper taped to the board. Um, let me just lower you down so you can see it a little bit better. That's better. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so to do um, your little Highland coo, what you need to do is you start by just drawing in the little um, nose of the cow. And the little nose of the cow um, is a little bit sort of uneven. Um, so you're going to come around like a little sort of wonky C shape. You want a bit of shape to it, a bit of a lip. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be um, symmetrical. Because he is a little quirky cow. Like so. so I'll just go over the lines a little bit more so you can you can see it. So you're sort of just doing a little bit of a, a wavy sort of oblongy shape. And then you can put in his little lip. And then you need to just put in the top of the head. So the top of the head is about an inch from his his nose so you just put in a little line for the top of his head and then you need to do the horns so we can do um, some horns that go that way and then we'll do them going this way like so um, it's always nice to just put in his, um, let me just lay you down, there we go, it's a bit better. It's always nice just to put in his little eyes, so we can pop his little, his little eyes in, so you've got a marking for that. And then you just need to then put the ears in, so you come behind the horns and then just extend the ears out like that. And then it's nice just to just mark the shape. So all you're going to do is just do some little pencil marks just to fill in those ears and just give you a bit of a guide with the ears. Like so. You can put in the pencil lines of his little part in. And then just put in the pencil shape of his little body. And that's it for the drawing. That's all you need to do. You can give your little cow um, a couple of little nostrils. 
but that's it that's all we need to do and then what we can do is we can start to apply um, a little bit of paint so I'm going to just use a little bit of the um, the yellow ochre colour so I'm going to pop some colour onto his little horns first like so I'm going to use just a little bit of sort of a, a grey for the top of his nose, his little bit of face that you can see you don't want anything too too heavy but you do need a little bit of colour there so I'll just use a little bit of grey and I'll use that grey just on his little lip and his nostrils and then we can just paint in a couple of um, little um, blobs of colour onto his little nose so we'll just put in a little bit of colour just to one side there and under that nostril and then we'll just allow that to dry and then we'll add in some more colour as we go. So now we can make a start on putting some paint down onto his body. I'm just going to wait for this little bit of his face to dry before I come up this end so we'll start on the body and all you're going to do is just build the colour as you go so very very similar to how you did the little quirky bird so we'll just start by putting in some brown and all you're doing is just doing some nice feathered strokes and just push that paint away from the neckline of your little cow And don't worry too much, you haven't got to completely fill the space because obviously um, the pattern will build as it goes. So we've got a bit of colour down on the body. And then we can do the same for the ears. So just bring that line down with the ears and then just... Apply the colour and just feather that out. And do the same again the other side, just follow that line and then just feather those ears out. And then we can put a little bit of colour then on his little head. So put those partings in. And the same the other side. Like so. And now we can add a little bit of the darker colour to his nose. Take the excess off and then just put another little splodge of colour on his nose take that up around the top of his nostril And then we can come back down to the body and work with a darker colour. So I'm going to just mix a little bit of the, the brown. And just warm it up ever so slightly with a little bit of the yellow. Okay. And then we just repeat the process. So we can put in some brown shapes. Just 
go in different directions. You can do some shorter ones just at the bottom. Put a little bit more on his tops of his head. And just wisp it out sort of ever so softly. Try to be quite delicate with your brush strokes so you get that lovely soft furry texture. Particularly around the head. And then we'll just do the same along his little ears again. And then what we can do is just apply a second coat of colour of the yellow ochre to the horns just to make those a little bit bolder. And then we'll just put a little bit of the yellow just on the little nose. And don't worry if it bleeds through now on the nose, that's absolutely fine, it just adds to just that little bit of texture in the centre of your picture. And then what we can do is we'll just then use some of the yellow through the body of the cow. When it comes to you doing this, obviously you can take a little bit more time than than what I'm doing and you may prefer to allow the paint to dry properly before proceeding with the next colour and in fairness if you were to do that you would actually achieve some better results because it wouldn't you, you're not going to risk it going all kind of muddy so I'll just pop some yellow through his little ears down his face okay so that's pretty much it for the painting of your little um, Highland coup um, we now need to let that dry but what is also nice is that you can just put some um, colour across the back of your little cow painting. So I'm just going to just pop in my little heart that I do on my signature. Just drop a bit more colour into that, it's a little bit pale. Okay, so what's quite nice is to put in some of the paint splatter. So I've got some of the paint splatter just on this little chap here and I've just done it around the, the back of the, the cow. Um, and to do that, you are gonna use the same colors that you've used for your um, in your cow. So I'm gonna start by taking up some of the brown on my brush and then just using a pencil, I'm just going to literally just strike the brush against the pencil and I don't want anything too heavy I just want a nice little bit of a, a background to our little cow and I'm not going to do all the way rounds I'm not coming down at the bottom I'm just literally just doing it at the, at the back um, I'll take up some yellow because yellow works very well with a bit of splatter OK, 
Okay. And we'll just put a little bit of burnt sienna through. So just water that down ever so slightly. And just put a little bit of the burnt sienna, nothing. Okay. So that now needs to, to dry. Um, if you've got any little paint splatter marks, then just smooth those out. You can just do that with a wet brush or you can just leave them. It's absolutely fine. Okay. So we'll let that dry um, and then I'll come back in a, a little while and we will do the ink detailing on your little Highland Coo. So I'll see you in a little while. Okay, so I'm back again with the little Highland Coo and um, we just need to put in the ink details now on this little chap. So I've got my gel pen um, ready. So all we're going to do is we'll start by going around the outside edge of the little cow's horns and we'll come up and around this one as well. And then we'll pop in his nose, so the lovely shape of his nose. And then his lip. And then just pop in his nostrils. And then we can just do his little eyes. So we'll draw in one eye. And then the other. Um, and then you can give him... Some little eyebrows. And then once his face is set like that, what you then need to do is we just need to work on the ink details. So I'm going to make a start by just putting in a couple of lines for his parting. And you just then need to build that texture up through your painting. Try not to go too heavy across the eye because you do want to be able to still see the eye. And put some in going the other way and then just some nice wispy ones at the edge. And then do the same this side. So pop in his part in And don't go too heavy, heavy over the eye, like so. And then you just need to do the same on the ear. So just bring that featheriness along his little ears. Again this side. over the top like so
and then you can just then pop in his body. So again, you're just going to follow the lines that you've put in as a guide. And then just add in the different texture using the pen. I don't want it too heavy. And try not to get the pen on his face. That's pretty much how you paint a very, very simple and quirky little Highland coup. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I'd love to see your interpretations of this design. Like I say, you really can have some fun. Um, you could even do it as something for a Christmas card. Maybe put some little baubles or fairy lights off his little horns. Um, but yeah, have some fun with it. It's a great, great picture to do. Um, and it really is um, rather lovely and suitable again to be upscaled or even just downsized. So enjoy yourself. Please do share your work to the page and uh, I shall see you all for the daily challenge starting tomorrow. Goodbye.